Well, the Blues go six in the Premier League yesterday, finally boosting the chances to play in the Europa League competition next season. Now, let's make the last effort and win the last match against Bournemouth at Stamford Bridge this Sunday and let's pray that Manchester City will defeat Manchester United in the final of the FA Cup coming soon. So, everything will be achieved. Well guys, welcome back to a new video of the Colors Blue Chelsea FC. Well, uh, if you ask me how I feel, I'm over the moon. Most probably feel the same, guys. Uh, we all know we are almost there. We are almost there. We just need to pray God that Manchester City will win the FA Cup and we managed to get this uh, last win against Bournemouth uh, Sunday coming. So if we manage to defeat Bournemouth and uh, Manchester City will win the FA Cup, we have a place in the European League next, se next season guaranteed, that is for sure. Before I carry on guys, again I'd like to remind you please subscribe to the channel Click the like button and keep, keep watching my video. Watch my video for a bit longer if you can, please. Help out this channel to progress too. So, <laughs> but getting back to the match, yesterday match, uh, a goal from Cole Palmer in the first half and uh, Christopher Ngungu, Ngungu in the second half sealed that important victory for us that uh, is actually allow is allowing us to sit comfortably six in the Premier League. What that means is that we are almost there. We are almost close to uh, be allowed next season to play in the European League competition, which will be essential for Chelsea, not just for the prestige but for the finances too, for the revenue. Because uh, uh, Chelsea is a team that uh, is used to play in a European competition. And we can carry on waiting more years and be sitting all the time in the middle of the league. We don't deserve that. So I had to credit uh, all of the players plus the manager for uh, uh, achieving right now what they have achieved. Because if we compare this season to the previous season, we had definitely progressed and we had definitely done much better than what we did last season. Right now, let's analyze yesterday match uh, in a much more meticulous way, okay? Uh, uh, Chelsea as a collective team yesterday uh, display and perform exceptionally well. We had Petrovic in goal and uh, Petrovic did a very good job. Then we had uh, Malogusto e Cucurella uh, right back and left back with uh, Badia Shield and um, Kaloba as a central defender. I had to say, Kaloba is doing very well. <laughs> the last five, six matches has performed exceptionally well and quite surprisingly, is showing a bit of attitude and a bit of character and uh, is much more, uh, I shall say, much more mature as a central defender. Uh, it, can be, it can be still useful for Chelsea to have uh, Kaloba next season, but I got the feelings that he may be sold to other teams, so there can be a possibility. Now let's talk a bit about Moises Casado performance yesterday. Again, as I mentioned previously, it seems like that Moises Casado 
is playing much better alongside Conor Gallagher rather than Enzo Fernandez. This is quite <laughs> weird in a way, if you think about And uh, again, yes, uh, the, uh, Cases, uh, Casado uh, was pretty much quite relaxed in a way he performed. But uh, now we need to say what happened as soon as Enzo Fernandez will be fit again. Because I, this is quite unusual to see the way uh, Casado has performed recently without having alongside him Enzo Fernandez. Well, uh, getting back to the individual performances, if you look also at the position where Ngungu play, Ngungu play as a left winger, that was quite unusual, but I tell you, he worked very well for Chelsea. I mean, should I say, not that I wished <laughs> that Madrid, Madrid had to come out because of his head injury. But there was a bit of bless because as soon as uh, uh, Ngungu uh, got uh, his position on left wing, I tell you, uh, the game improved much, much more. And the um, uh, input that Ngungu uh, gave to the, to the performance, the Chelsea performance, was great. Especially, uh, it seems like that the connection of Ngungu with Nicola Jackson uh, is a very good connection, it works very well indeed. Cole Palmer again, he worked, uh, he played as a kind sort of uh, forward midfielder, more than, like more like a second striker if we think about it. Yeah? And uh, we had uh, Nonima Dueke and Madrik on the left wing initially, Dueke right back, right winger and the Madrik uh, left winger, but then uh, Madrik was substituted because uh, of his head injury and luckily Nkungu stepped in and the good thing about that is that he's finally fit to play again. Well, the effort of Nkungu in the last 30 minutes of the match was impressive and um, the way he is again connecting with Jackson is fantastic. The, the, the both of the, them two, they play very well together. It seems like Jackson loves playing alongside Nkungu. And uh, uh, he gave much more of a dynamism to the, to the match. It was, it was much faster than Madrik in a way. Although I have to say Madrik is, is a fast winger too, but in Gungu, uh, when he's in front of the goal, is much more um, effective than, uh, than, uh, than Madrik. I mean, when it comes to opportunity, uh, in Gungu, very, very unluckily miss chances. We need a kind sort of striker of the level, if we think about. Um, now, uh, talking about uh, the importance of Cole Palmer as a kind sort of second striker, uh, I mean, we seen again yesterday, Cole Palmer, he said that was amazing, he scored such a fantastic goal. From below, he managed to, to put the ball right in the top corner, which was amazing, the way, the agility to actually uh, score in the way, it was quite amazing. And we have a complete player, uh, he is a complete player, he's, he's got some, so much skills and we need to fully rely on a player such as Cole Palmer. Now, uh, let's talk about the importance of the striker. Uh, we do need a striker for next season. Especially right now that uh, we finally managed to achieve something in a way. We are very close to get uh, playing next season in a European League competition. So we need to make sure that next season we have a much better squad than this season. We only need to change a few things and I'm sure that Chelsea will have a fantastic squad next season, a very competitive uh, football team, hopefully. Uh, Pochettino say we dream, we finally dream of Europe. I had to say we do. <laughs> I'm very pleased about that. 
and it's only a manner of days before we before we realize that we uh, most probably will be playing next season in European uh, league competition because I'm quite sure that uh, Manchester City this season will win the double. I'm quite sure that they will win the league this Sunday coming and I'm quite also sure that they'll manage to defeat um, uh, Manchester United in the final of the FA Cup, which will guarantee us uh, for sure a place in uh, Europe next season, Europe competition. Bit about the VAR, yes, the, the use of the VAR. Uh, there was a lot of controversy, yes, about the, the, the VAR uh, decision. Uh, Pochettino say that overall we should still rely on them because most of the time are very effective. Now we are heading to uh, the last match of the season, which will be Sunday. We'll be playing Bournemouth at uh, Stamford Bridge. Uh, uh, Chelsea will need, of course, to win the match and hopefully we will win the match. And... Uh, uh, I would like to remind you guys again to subscribe to the channel and keep watching uh, my videos and uh, it was a pleasure to be with you today and I will see you next time. Bye.